Hello, my name is Irene Walton, and if you were tuning in, it may be because you looked at the thumbnail or the title, and you saw that we were playing Smash or Pass with holiday foods from Trader Joe's. <laughs> so for those of you who watched my last Trader Joe's video, I asked if you guys would want me to try all of the like holiday offerings from a certain store, and a lot of you said yes, and a lot of you said Trader Joe's. So. Here we are. I have 10 of their super popular holiday items. I have some of their new holiday items. We're gonna play Smash or Pass because I'm usually very like, I just take so long to do these when in reality it's me being like, yeah, this is good or like, yeah, this is bad. So I wanna try to be a little bit faster than I am normally because I, you guys have no idea how much I cut out of these. Let's just grab the first thing I see. Okay, this is favorite sweets and inspired truffle collection. There's a cute little polar bear on it, so I already like it. Oh, okay, okay. There's four flavors. Drip waffle truffle, peppermint chocolate truffle, Pantone truffle, and gingerbread truffle. They're very cute, which I obviously love. Oh, smash this drip waffle. I normally do not like white chocolate. This is very good. Pass on the gingerbread truffle because I just, I don't love gingerbread and I don't love the chocolate together. I think if you like gingerbread with chocolate, you would love it. Oh gosh, that's very liquidy. It's not bad though. It's smash. And the Pantone. Or is that the gingerbread one? I don't love it. But the peppermint and the stroop waffle, the stroop waffle is very good, which I'm shocked by. Oh my God, okay, cool. I wanna be honest, I couldn't get everything today just because of like, you know, I don't have a billion dollars. They probably have like 15, 20 more items that we could do. If you guys like this episode, let me know and we could do an episode two, trying even more of the holiday offerings. Sweet and salty snack mix, a mix of chocolate drizzled and salted snacks. Okay, you guys, here is something about me. I don't usually like dipped things unless it's very freshly dipped because I think it can make everything very soggy. Like most of the time packaged caramel corn, I think is too soft and squishy. That one's actually not bad. Mini peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, half dip potato chips, chocolate drizzled caramel popcorn, and roasted salted peanuts. Okay, the potato chips are still crunchy, but there's too much chocolate. And I've said this, if I've said this once, I've said this a million times. Remember when I was like, I'm gonna do this way quicker? When something's dipped in chocolate, 95% of the time there's way too much chocolate. Like I think the potato chips should have had some of this action, like just a drizzle, and that would have been good. I mean, I'd smash which says a lot about me as a person. These looked so intense. They're like covered, the or Trader Joe's Oreos. There's double chocolate peppermint, peanut butter, and vanilla ginger. I feel like these are gonna be so rich. Oh, I have to tell you guys something. I have to be so honest with you right now. Do you guys remember in the last Trader Joe's video that I did, I give the spicy buffalo party poppers or whatever they're called, I gave them a seven. You guys, I've repurchased them like three times. I'm obsessed with them. It's weird, I don't know what it is. I, st I still don't think they're like, you know, the best thing that I've ever had in my mouth. But I, I do think that they're very delicious. So I highly suggest. Okay, this is vanilla ginger. See, it's just so coated. I actually don't hate that, but I don't love it. I'm gonna pass. This is double chocolate, I think. You guys, it's so much coating. I mean, pass, there's too much coating. Oh, this peppermint one has some missing coating. See, that's actually nice. I'm not saying they shouldn't be, I'm acting like I'm on trial. I'm not saying they shouldn't be dipped. I'm just saying they should be dipped much, 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 much thinner. That's it. I would actually smash. And the last one is peanut butter. I usually love chocolate and peanut butter, so I'm excited to try these guys. One of my friends, her name's Courtney, she's like deathly allergic to peanuts and I feel so bad for her. Is this peanut butter? I don't know, but it tastes exactly like the double chocolate. Still too much chocolate. Pass. Here's the thing, these are also just incredibly rich and as much as I am a dessert girl, I can't have that much sweet at once. Like if I had one of these, I would probably feel, like if I had a full one, I would probably feel not very well. <laughs> oh, you know what I did see that looks so freaking cute that I'm 95% I'm sure there's just gonna be a sewing kit in here were these Danish butter cookies, excuse. 
I, see, this is something I could get down on, I know, because it's gonna be like mildly sweet. I mean, they're freaking very cute. Are they all the same thing, just different flavors or different shapes? Smash! Oh my God. Oh, that's stunning. I will tell you what, smash, let, let, like smash and let him never call me again. I never cared. Wow, absolutely get these. Oh, this looked really cool. Kind of just smells like popcorn. Still feels pretty light, not too Cody. Oh, that is actually lovely. Smash. The cinnamon bun really comes in, not overwhelmingly so, but just like right at the end when you're finishing your bite, it's like warm, cinnamon, spicy, so good. Smash, smash, smash. So these are just the plain old peppermint candy, um, candy cane JoJo's. They are thick boys, I will tell you what. I don't like that. I don't think it's bad, I just think it's like not my taste. I do think they changed their wafer formula because I used to not like them and now I like the wafer a lot. Pass, but I would maybe think about it once or twice and be like, oh, I wonder if I shouldn't have passed. You've been there. These in a full transparency I've had before, but not in a long time. These I've seen and I believe I didn't get them again because they were too coated. And it looks like that's the case. And don't get me wrong, I love peppermint bark. I used to make peppermint bark every single season. If it had a third of the coating that's on this covering the whole thing, it would be really good. And that's what's upsetting. It's just so like cloyingly sweet. We made the salted caramel hot chocolate. I believe in marshmallows in my hot chocolate, even though they did not come in, so I added those. I mean, it is really good. I use milk. I don't believe in using water for hot chocolate. I mean, if desperate times call for desperate measures. It's not like the most chocolatey hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. I actually have a great recipe for hot chocolate. You guys can check it out right there. That's my favorite hot chocolate in the world, but it is definitely a little more like intense. So I get that that's annoying, but well, not intense, just more like in depth. You have to like, you know, cook it all. But I mean, this isn't bad. I wouldn't smash though. Um, okay, we have two items left. These were just the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Mini chocolate mousse presents, rich chocolatey cakes layer, layered with silk mousse. Get out of town. You look like little presents. That's so cute. Okay. Okay, wait, actually, the cake part is fantastic. The mousse is good, it's just, I could use half this amount of mousse. You know what I mean? Smash. All right, this is our last and final item and it looked so cool. Oh my God, these are f***ing gigantic. So these are large pretzels covered in peanut butter candy coating with dark chocolate gems and Jojo cookie bits. I mean, they, they, it looks like there can't be a problem here. I just feel like it is so very much. The, it's, I think it's just the coating. I think if they could have found a way to get the M&M, or I'm sorry, dark chocolate covered gems. I think that if they could have gotten those on there without all the coating, that'd be good. I don't think it's bad. It's just maybe a little too sweet for old Rini. But oh my God, the standout of this event are these Danish cookies because wowza bobowza, take off my trousers. <laughs> And with that, I guess I should say goodbye. I've had too much sugar, clearly. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Smash or Pass, Trader Joe's edition. Let me know if you guys would like another episode of this. I had a lot of fun doing it. I just hope you guys have the best day. I hope you're excited about the holiday season coming up. And if you're not excited and it, you're not celebrating any of the holidays, I just hope you're having a good day. And drink a lot of water. That's it. Love you, bye-bye.